Hello and welcome back, I am the One-Eyed Crow, and today we're going to talk about the MetaZoo news updates for April 10th through April 17th, and we have quite a bit to cover this week, from the fan art blisters that are being released next week, to the Manifold partnership, the Game Recepts partnership, the Revive Drop, and so much more, so let's get to it. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are 36 subscribers away from our first giveaway, which is a CN2 spellbook. Once we get to 250 subscribers for the channel, I will be doing a giveaway for that. Please consider throwing a like on the video. That'll help with YouTube showing this video to more people who may be interested in MetaZoo content. On April 11th, we got a look at the fan art blisters. These are gonna drop on Monday at about 12 Eastern time on MetaZoo Marketplace. And we now get to see that these are gonna come with a bookmark promo. The NFT drop happened for these on the 15th. So we know that they're gonna be $10 a pack. And for the NFT drop, there was a limit of one per purchase. It is still unknown whether that may be in place on Monday as well, but hopefully we can get more than one because some people do want to build out their spell books with these and you can have up to two in your spell book. And we still don't know how many cards are gonna be in the packs yet. I personally think it's four. A few weeks ago, we got a look at the packs and you can see in the background, there were a bunch of cards in piles and each of those stacks had four cards in it, with the top card being the hollow card that you can pull. It's also worth mentioning that Mike did confirm a few days later on the 15th that the bookmark promo will be used to gain entry into the 2022 art contest. And if this is the case, I think that does warrant a limit on how many people can pick up on Monday. I believe there's gonna be about 18 cards in the set, so that would make it hard for people to complete the set if they are limited to how many they can pick up. And it's also worth mentioning that even though the fan art blister packs has a run of 10,000, there's only 5,000 left after the set that have been given to the artists that won and other giveaways. As we move on to April 12th, we got to look at the Manifold Partnership, which was the first profile picture NFT announced for MetaZoo. And it features Bunny Man, River Mermaid, Bigfoot, Loveland Frogman, Piazza Bird, Cumberland Dragon, Wendigo, Mothman, Grim Reaper, Walking Sam, Hodag, and Babe. And as we try to understand this partnership, we need to understand what Manifold is. And if we go to Manifold's website, we can see that Manifold enables Web3 creators to have true creative ownership, preserve on-chain provenance, and interoperate with all major NFT marketplaces. So what does that mean? So the concept of Web3 is your metaverse. It's your things that are in the crypto space, in the VR space, in this new era of the internet. And what makes Manifold interesting is that they're trying to make it so that when you mint your NFTs, you're not stuck in a single marketplace. You can move that around. If you mint it in OpenSeas, you're not stuck in OpenSeas if you're using Manifold. The website also mentions Manifold Studio combines the power of a Manifold creator contract with a seamless user interface to mint your own NFTs with zero coding required. As our next step in building for top creators, Manifold Studios allows you to mint original high quality NFTs while retraining true ownership and provenance of your own work. And that's important for two reasons. You don't need to be technical to write the contracts for your NFTs. You can go on to the Manifold platform. They take care of the heavy lifting there for you you create your NFT and you own that NFT yourself. Now these NFTs are gonna be releasing in May and there's gonna be thousands of variations to these. Now, if we look at something like the Bored Ape NFTs, it's likely gonna be the same base profile image of Mothman, of Bunny Man, of Walking Sam, etc., but with different accessories. So sunglasses, hats, things like that. And as far as participation is concerned, we still don't have the details we need for that yet. They mention that we're gonna get more details on the whitelist soon. A whitelist is basically, they're gonna have a list of allowed users ahead of time. So when it drops, as long as you're on the whitelist, you can purchase the NFT. Also on April 12th, we got an interesting update about the MetaZoo organized play. And MetaZoo has thanked all of the organizers for a successful launch of Wilderness. And any store that participated or hosted events in the MetaZoo play network between March 31st and April 15th, they're gonna be getting 10 release event boxes and five booster boxes intended to be used as further prize support for the communities. So the stores that have helped MetaZoo grow by doing wilderness events between the 31st and the 15th are getting rewarded for doing so 
and are going to have more product to give to their patrons. There was one last update on April 12th, and it was simply a picture, really a clip art, of a vending machine. And in a recent MetaZoo hour, Mike had mentioned that they're looking into doing vending machines with MetaZoo. And this really isn't a new concept for TCGs. I've seen it on the Pokemon side of the hobby. People going and finding these vending machines that you can buy cards for for 50 cents and seeing what they can pull. So we still don't know a lot about the vending machines yet. We don't know where they're going to be located. Are they going to be located at LGSs? Are they going to be located at malls? And how much are the cards going to cost to pull? On April 13th, we got a look at the Gamersups partnership. And Gamersups is a company that provides a zero calorie, keto friendly, sugar free energy mix supplement targeting esports athletes and gamers. They come in caffeine and caffeine free varieties. And you can get a free trial on their website if you want to check that out ahead of the MetaZoo drop. And MetaZoo's first flavor is going to be Bigfoot juice, made with real Bigfoot foot juice. Yum. On April 14th, we got a look at the Castor Cup exclusive jersey. This one features Mothman and will come with a matching promo card. There are four other jerseys that we have not seen yet. And my guess is that those are going to probably be Bigfoot, Babe, Loveland Frogman, and maybe Piazza Bird. They mentioned that they're going to be some of the fan favorites. Those seem to be the ones that are usually in the releases of things. We do see those across the board usually. And those will be available exclusively at the Dallas Fort Worth Collecticon. So if you are going to that, definitely try to pick one up if you are interested. Or if you have people that are interested that can't go, pick them up for them because these can't be purchased anywhere else. On April 15th, we got the drop of the Revive Skateboard promos. So these promo boxes dropped on the MetaZoo Marketplace and Revive site at noon Eastern time. 2,000 units were sold and were sold out in less than 30 minutes. So those went very quickly. And the boxes contained two cards, one redeemable card to get a matching deck and one blind pack. These were sold for $99. I was able to pick up a box. I wasn't gonna get it originally, but the FOMO kind of hit hard once I saw the art on the boards and the, the promos that would go along with those. So I ended up getting one. And just a reminder here that the, the rare boards are the Mothman and the Chaos Crystal. Those are one out of 50. The Uncommons are the Loveland Frogman, Babe, and Sam St. Clair, one out of 150. And the Commons are Piazza Bird, Metal Man, Bigfoot, Jersey Devil, and Hodag, one out of 300. So your Mothman and your Chaos Crystal they're gonna be rarer than your red inks. To go along with that, it was announced that the Nightfall release for Revival will be in May, Wilderness will be in June, and UFO will be in August. And with UFO releasing on August 1st, I imagine they're gonna space that out a little bit and that the Revive UFO drop is gonna be somewhere closer to the middle to end of the month in August. And for the last announcement for the Discord channel, on April 16th, Mike had dropped an image of his first ever MetaZoo art and said, you know, thank God we have some better artists. And honestly, I can't really tell what it is. It looks like probably something to do with a cosmic card he was working on. It looks kind of like space blobs of some sort. I'm kind of interested to see what the intent of that art was. Now there wasn't a MetaZoo hour this week, but I did go through the chats and I picked out some key things that were mentioned by Mike or Andy, uh, Chaos Crystal Enthusiast, during the chats over the last week. And one of the ones that was really interesting to me was that there is a user, Roxandy, that said, you know, I don't mean to brag, but started bragging, of course, about how long he's been with MetaZoo. And Andy said, but were you here when we had 150 members and were giving away Kickstarter boxes every Friday? And shortly after that, Mike said, well, should we do another Kickstarter giveaway? And Andy replied with, maybe with eBay? And Mike said, yeah, eBay sounds cool. So it seems like there might be a Kickstarter giveaway coming up. You know, I don't think that they were playing off each other to the extent that it was a joke. It seems very deliberate how they worded things, how they played off each other here. So I would imagine we're going to get some announcements soon about a Kickstarter giveaway related to the eBay drop. And the last thing that I found that was really interesting from the chats was actually from Andy or Chaos Crystal Enthusiast. And we had a user, Deadly Ice Awoken, say you should put a random redemption card in UFO for a Kickstarter box redemption. 
And Andy said, we are working on some absolutely insane things for UFO. Just wait. And this is likely related to what we've heard about in the past from the chats of NFT redemption cards being included in UFO. Maybe there's some other things that are going to be included as well. Well, that's all I have for this update. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the new studio setup. I think this is really interesting. I'm really excited about it. Uh, makes it seem like I'm not necessarily in my basement doing videos, even though I'm in my basement doing videos. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.